Graduating class of 2022. Wow, congratulations. We couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments and the spirit of perseverance that brought you to this day. This is your day, and I really, really hope you will savor every moment of it. To the family members and the friends here to celebrate these students, and to those of you watching from home, we're so glad that you're here with these students and with all of us on this special day. Graduates, as you reflect on your experience at Cleveland State University, I'm guessing there are a few phrases that you wouldn't mind if you never heard again, or at least didn't hear again for a very long time. For instance, the term midterms, or maybe <laughs> final exams, or this is my favorite, maybe the phrase 8 a.m. class. But I hope that there are other messages that you will hear today, and I hope they are never going to grow old for you. Congratulations. You deserve this. You set a goal for yourself, and you achieved it. Be proud of yourselves. And then let's face it, there are other terms and expressions that you will hear for better or worse, and they will forever be tied to this graduating class of 2022. Things like attending college during unprecedented times, global pandemic, remote learning, emerging into a new normal. In the past few academic years, we all know you have had to routinely adapt to the changing conditions of a global pandemic. You've had to attend classes while observing new rules and procedures and guidelines that you as students have never had to follow before. And we as educators didn't either. And sometimes those guidelines changed with dizzying frequency as the pandemic changed and we adapted. And you navigated all of that and still you are here today. So while global pandemic and unprecedented times and emerging into a new normal do in part describe your college experience, they do not define you. Here's what I believe defines this graduating class of 2022. You are determined, you are flexible, you are patient and resilient, adaptive, and you are learners. One of my favorite 20th century writers and philosophers is a guy named Eric Hoffer. Now, Eric Hoffer was an interesting character. He spent a significant part of his young adult life dirt poor with untreated addiction and mental health challenges living on skid row. By the end of his life as an old, healthy man, Eric Hoffer had received the Presidential Medal of Freedom because between that time he spent on Skid Row and the time he died an old man decades later, he got healthy and he explored the world and as a lifelong learner, he became a brilliant philosopher of his time. He fascinates me. And there's one line in particular in all of Eric Hoffer's writings that has always stood out to me. And as many times as I have stood at a podium for commencement, I have shared this line because I think it's so apt, but today, to this graduating class of 2022, I think it's more powerful than ever. Eric Hoffer wrote this, in times of great change, learners inherit the earth. It is the learners who inherit the future, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to inhabit a world that no longer exists. The skills you developed here at Cleveland State as a student during unprecedented times, your capacity to learn and to adapt, to roll with the punches, to be resilient, it will serve you well over a lifetime. While you have learned a lot here, you are also prepared to inherit the future, not only because of what you've learned, but because you have learned how to learn. My greatest wish for you is that you carry that into your future. Be always a learner. Be a lifelong learner. We know that none of us follows the path of learning alone. We don't learn in a vacuum. You have had teachers, mentors, allies, and guides all along the way. And this is 
Get a little choked up here. This is the special gift. This is the contribution of our faculty who are so very dedicated to your success. I would ask my fellow faculty members if they would please rise, both here on the podium and, and in the audience. Please rise. All of the faculty members, wherever you are. I think it's important to note that even as these scholars are so invested in the success of our students, they themselves are on a lifelong path. They have pledged to a lifelong path of inquiry and curiosity themselves. So we are in good company when I talk about being lifelong learners. And faculty, you have meant so much to this journey for our students, and I personally thank you. Graduates, you are also surrounded by a village that has supported you. Those people in your network, the provost mentioned them, the supporters who are your encouragers and who give you strength. They may be your parents and grandparents, aunties and uncles, brothers and sisters, spouses and children and partners, and dear, dear friends. Perhaps they're with us today, or perhaps they're watching live from their home. Regardless of where they are, I would hope you would take a moment with me to stand and show them your gratitude. Go ahead, graduates, let's show them your gratitude. That's maybe the best part of the whole event right there. Thank you all so very much.